Um, Alright, hi guys. My name is Jacob. I'm Slaughterhouse22. Um, so I'll be doing this vlog for you guys on uh, just the stress of the whole process and about having friends in senior years and also some essay tips. And that's all going to kind of combine, I think, I hope. I'm not really prepared. I'm basically just doing this to um, procrastinate from studying for any placement tests or whatever that I have to do because I'm moving in in like three weeks. Um, so anyways, the whole process is just really stressful, like to the point that there's times that you just really can't function. Um, for me, that really started, I think, in spring of my junior year, actually. Because basically, you know, all of the seniors were getting into their colleges and they reached the fun part of the application process where you do the visits and you decide between your options and all that stuff. And so the whole guidance office, it's like, okay, we're done with this class. Now let's move on to the juniors and let's start bothering them. So that's basically when that started. And that, like, that combined with a couple of other things just going on, I was under a lot of stress and just not a very good time mental health-wise for me. But I managed to push through. And I think, like, especially when you're writing your essays so for current seniors like now especially is a good time to uh sorry i just had a brain fart i do that when i'm filming it's you're going to be put under a lot of stress with the essays coming up and you're going to be like staying up late not even accomplishing anything just trying to figure out okay what am I going to write about, if you're anything like me, that is, because that was a big deal for me. Like, I didn't even know what to write about. So I think, like, the first thing you should do is try not focusing on the essays, if possible. If that makes sense. Like, all right. The during October, I was, like, completely obsessed. What am I going to write for my U Chicago essay? Because, you know, I really like the school and all that. Um, oh, God, I look so stupid. Also, I'm just noticing, like, my hair is usually a lot more blonde in the summer. Like, you can see a small streak over there, but that's, like, it. But, like, I get serious blonde highlights in the summer usually, but I haven't been out much this year. And that's just kind of... Um, yeah, so anyways, like, all of October, like, I kept writing these drafts and they sucked. Because I was just trying too hard for writing them. Then one day I basically just put everything down, I decide to relax, helped a friend with some SAT math, I remember this pretty well. I got home, I was just browsing on Tumblr and shit, ooh, I wasn't supposed to curse, I'm sorry, um, and I saw this post which was like, do GIFs keep moving when you scroll past them? And that reminded me of this infographic where it's like, where does your pen fall when you drop it? And I lose pens a lot, so I really relate to that infographic. I don't know why it reminded me of it. And I kind of had this idea for the essay, and it came to me like immediately like what I was going to write, but it took three hours to write because I got super pumped. And I just started typing stuff. Like, I typed a sentence, and then I had to get up and walk around for 15 minutes. And then I typed another sentence, and then got up and walked around for 15 minutes. 
that's like the way I wrote it, but I pretty much didn't have to edit it except for a few small things. So that was pretty good all in all. I completely got off topic, I'm sorry. Um, but just in general with essays, they were definitely like the biggest stress inducer for me because I'm not a very good writer and I can't just pump out essays, you know, things like that. So it's really important to have a friend who can you can just talk to about what you're writing with your essays, who can edit your stuff. You know, I had someone, like we even like had an essay writing session where we just sat there and wrote essays. Um, and I barely got one out and she wrote like three, which really sucked. But like I wrote almost all of them all, almost all of my supplements I basically wrote in the last week of December. Which isn't that bad, really, because it doesn't take long to edit them and stuff if you're just keep on topic. Just make sure you get them in, like, a day before the deadline. Because if you get them in on the day of the deadline, like, the whole site, all of the Common App is going to be completely overloaded and it's gonna crash and you really don't want your essay to get lost or anything. Like there had there were a whole bunch of kids in my class who had this problem, like Common App just crashed the day that everything was due, like January 1st, December 31st, whatever. So I think I got in all of my essays basically like December 30th. Uh, pretty much, I just finished all my applications. So try getting it in like a day or two early, at latest, latest. Don't procrastinate like me if possible. Um, basically, I was able to just charge through them. Eventually, you just got to sit down and motivate yourself. Just be like, I got to write something even if it's not very good. And then I'll figure out how to make it good later. That pretty much worked for me. Um... Yeah, I don't know. All of the essays were just kind of hard because, I don't know, they should have just asked for math proofs or stuff for me, and then I could have done a much better job, I think, but, you know, so anyways, it's good to have a friend who's around just to talk to about stress and about what's bugging you, and also just be really considerate about others' feelings. Um, especially around decision time. Can't stress that enough. Um, <laughs> oh god. Um, yeah, just be really considerate about others' feelings, about where they're applying and stuff. If you're ahead of the process, good for you. Don't try to, like, lord that over other people. You know, listen to what your friends are saying, listen to their problems, try helping them. Um, hopefully they'll be, like, helping you also. Um, I don't know, that's pretty much all I have to say, so... Slaughterhouse22, or Moosings on the whiteboard, signing out. <laughs>